Hey, I'm Shane. I make videos sometimes. Today, I'm starting something new on my channel, and I think I'm gonna be calling it Etsy Finds. It's pretty much gonna be me showing off cool stuff that I find on Etsy that I think is worth sharing. Barbara Half Dollar Ring. Looks pretty cool, right? So I got this ring from an Etsy seller named Galaxy Coin Rings. I got the ring with this natural finish and a, a blue nano ceramic coating. So in the package, I got my ring, I got his business card, and a cool little surprise. So it's a keychain that was made from an 1859 one set Canadian penny. So these rings are made with a special coating called nano ceramics, which were made specifically for jewelry. From what I learned, they're safe, more durable, hypoallergenic, and the colors are more aesthetically pleasing rather than a, a powdered coated ring, which is, I guess, is the process that other ring makers might use to get colors onto their rings. So like I said, the uh, coin is from an Etsy seller called Galaxy Coin Rings. This Etsy seller did send me this ring for free. With that said, if it's a shitty ring, I'm gonna let you know. So it looks like he specializes in rings exclusively made out of all sorts of different coins. So I've never really seen anything like this before. Uh, and I was definitely interested in getting one of these. If you visit his Etsy page, you can scroll through the whole page and you can see all sorts of different types of rings that he has and they're all really cool looking. I'd love to see a video on his Etsy page showing the whole process of making a, a coin ring. I think that would be really cool. I have this picture I took a while back uh, in the first couple of days that I got this ring. You can see how shiny and pristine it was. It's crazy actually looking at this picture seeing how like brand new it actually looks. As you can see the current state it's in looks nothing like that. There's a bunch of scratches, the blue coating has faded and come off in some of the spots. Now, the thing is, this is a ring and it is a piece of fine jewelry, but I don't treat it as such. My other ring is a complete boss. You can check out my previous video about it here, but I don't really baby these rings and try to keep them looking brand spanking new. I never take them off. I, I wear them in the ocean. I wear them in the lake, in the shower. They get sandy and dirty. I work in the film industry, so I'm always hands on with gear and equipment. And that's why this ring looks the way it does. The seller does offer unlimited recoding and resizing. So if something ever does happen, that's great to know. All in all, I really dig this ring. I think the color makes it unique and really pop. I think that if you're used to really caring for fine jewelry, this ring would definitely hold up like it was originally, very vibrant and shiny. But if not, I think the, the faded blue and the, the scratches make a, a nice look for what is essentially, it's a coin from 1914. I think it just adds a lot of character to it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, Check out my other video on what might be the OG fidget spinner before fidget spinners were even a thing. Thanks for watching. Till the next ring video or something. Well, just cause maybe it'll look cool. <laughs> Come on. I can't. Come on. <laughs> Blow! <laughs> Give me two seconds. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>